Played back to the point, Day, he's got some room. Now he plays it over, sets up a one-time and they score! Devlin, right on cue, and it's tied here at the Hershey Center. Chance, feeding over, that's Claire. Back to Chance, still can't shoot, 17 seconds to go. Haladin, now he'll try, scores! Steve Haladin hits something in front, and 13.4 seconds to go on the power play. The Raiders have a 6-5 lead. Now down in behind the goal, this is Jimmy Lodge. Works his way to the wards, the middle, and now a puck in front, they score! Nathan Bastion, his third goal in two games, and the Steelheads are within one. Kappa Bianco, far side, grass can moves towards the middle, great move there by DeRoshi, and he is buried at the last second there. Sean Day steps into him, and Day looks like he's a little bit hurt after that, clutching his hand. Shot comes towards the goal, grass camp takes a run at Day, and Day is hurt. Well, Mississauga definitely needs something to get themselves going. They've only yeah. won five times in 36 games when they're trailing after two periods of play. They're down two here. What about the play of Jimmy Lodge? Where does he factor in in the third period? Player working the puck all the way around, sweeping over the left wing. Down, Lomara moves to the front, a big power move, and he just put it wide. Good chance there in front. Lee may have got a pad on it. And now a chance here for Burlington. There's Sheil. He's in alone on a shorthanded breakaway. Sheil scores! Five hole! And the Cougars are up 1 0. So here at the Hershey Center, the Wolves lead. The Mississauga Steel heads 3 1 after two periods of play. We'll be back with host Ali Monroe. We'll talk some more hockey and some more game analysis after the break. Grass camp works his way in, puts the puck across. Now a quick shot there that Brennan can't hang on to. Now rebound in front, and another nice save from the Steelheads goaltender. Paul at the right point, looks towards the goal, winds up, scores! Paul, the captain, has Burlington back within one. Yenny's great power move right in the slot, and boy, oh boy, can it get any better than that. Brennan plays it behind the goal, that's Gibson. Over to Nick Zottel, he was involved in that fight earlier. Now he gives it away, Wood, a chance in front, and a rebound that just goes off the side of the goal. Feeds down, now back to the point, Chance. Looks to take a shot, feeds over Halad, quick shot in front, Lee with a great save with the glove. And this game continues to have twists and turns, and Andrew Lee keeping his team in it. Now it's Adams in front, oh, what a save! My goodness, Andrew Lee just may have saved his team in this game. He gives chase and the Raiders will move out. Here's a quick chance. Dickinson in alone on a breakaway. He can move into the backhand, scores! Sweet move and it's 4-3. Georgetown leads. And one last shot a little bit after the whistle and they won't like that. Here come the Wolves, Desrochers, Corbett all there. That shot there, Jimmy Lodge and Kyle, he had some time to think about that. He knew what was going on but decided to let it rip anyway. And and of course, any team is going to take exception to that. And Jimmy, Jimmy Lodge saying, hey, what's, what did I do? What's going on? <laughs> the referee will let it wind down. And the Mississauga Steelheads improbably come all the way back. 3-1 down after two periods. And they get a 4-3 win. And they sweep the season series against the Sudbury Wolves, winning all six games.